Look at that, it's, it's, oh, it's a long way, man. It's a bloody long way. Beep, beep, beep. Do it, young man. Let's go. <laughs> me ass, me ass hurts. Oh! Another five hours in the bloody saddle. You and your navigation. So with a bad ass. Once your ass is gone, getting off doesn't really help, does it? If you get off, it's fine when you get off. As soon as you get back on the bike, it's just as bad as it was before you stopped. I think you need a good hour plus off the bike for your ass to actually heal it, heal itself. <laughs> Maybe being on the back wheel will help. Put a bit of weight a bit further back. Ow. And the views keep on coming. Absolutely stunning around here. People who live here must go to other parts of the world and go, yeah, it's alright. It's not as nice as home though. <laughs> You've got no chance, ladies. Maybe they have. We'll get them on the back somehow. My house is all gone to sleep now. It's happy now. It's settled. Whoa! That's a sharpie. This is a real twisty little bit according to my sound now. Cheers, buddy! Cheers for nothing! Cheers! Give him the leg. Show him a bit of leg. Go on then. Have him! Me arse! Me arse! Me arse! Ow! How far we got to go now? How many really? There's 396 kilometres to go. Oh, who are you kidding? Right in the ball sack. Oh, I've got my ball sack there. Still heading for Perry Pig now. Pepper Pig's long lost auntie, French cousin, twice removed. Fist bump with the cruise control. <laughs> you don't need cruise control, it's overrated. I'd rather have heated grips. <laughs> a side stand. Bloody thing. I ordered a bloody thing from the dealer as well, and he took the order, it's like eight quid just for the little thing. I had an email a week later, sorry, they're not doing those separately anymore. You have to buy the whole kickstand. That'll cost you £3,000. Slowly lift my backside off of the seat and let the blood return to it. The card is being validated. Do you wish to receive receipts by email? Most certainly do not. It's tight, isn't it? <laughs> You can't, you've got to hold it and you've got to, it's like yours are going to be impossible, we all look, we all look low. Get it in there. How much have I done? 10.83 litres, sir. That's all you put in, 4 litres so far. What have you been doing? Do you want me to try and hold it or something? Jesus. I tell you, the, the Super Duke definitely wins on the fueling e easiness. How many people does it take to fill up a, a, a Toronto? You hold the slack and you do the business. You've put in 3.82 litres, you've got about 10 to go in. It's so small, the oil, isn't it? Why have they got to make it so small? How far have we got to go now? Three hours to, we've got to talk, got another 343 kilometres to go. We'll be arriving at 25 past 10. That's about it, I think. That'll do, I think, still. Hey, we, 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 we. that's it. 11 litres beat you. End of the twisties on the motorway. Look with the naked, anything over 80. It's not particularly pleasant. Looks sexy! It looks sexy! Do the side stand, sir. <laughs> it's like being in a taxi and you've got the driver to open the door for you, isn't it? But getting that side stand up. My ass! Oh my god! It's 200 miles, yeah. <laughs> it's 
about two hundred miles left to go, isn't it? And that GS come flying by, I was like, bastard! <laughs> How you? Where's my screen? Another petrol station. <laughs> Another fill up. Not doing anything. Is yours doing anything? I'm taking the piss, aren't they? Ah, oh, pay before, okay. Oh, Jesus, what a shite. Uh, I don't know how much I'll fit in. Um, eight euros. Pizza delivery. <laughs> Pizza hut these days, and they've gone up with their delivery bikes. I'll give them that. Pony. Poor bastard. James, open the door, please. <laughs> James, open the door. <laughs> I can't fucking get off. My ass, my ass, my ass is hurting. Mud says we've got 70 miles to go until we come off this road. They're closed. Hello? We'll be there at 5 to 12 in the morning. It's currently 20 to 11. It's only another hour. Another hour or so, not too bad. What's another hour when you've been riding for 14? It's bloody blowing a hoolie as well, it's done now, is it? <laughs> fucking blowing an absolute fucking gale. <laughs> <laughs> you do look proper fuck, sorry. <laughs> so, my elbow's hurting, my arse is hurting, proper fucked. Apartment City. This is this is this is it. Oh my God! It's twelve o'clock at night. Shattered. Been on the road since ten in the morning. It's now twelve at night. Riding for at least. Riding for ten hours. Oh, I'm pretty more than that. I can we've been riding for twelve hours. A long time. I'm now shattered. Open the gates. Get me my bed. James? James? <laughs> I can't get off. I've got a bike I can't get off of. Without assistance. Let's push him in. He can't start on there. It's too noisy, aren't they? Like the dead. A bit posh, mate, isn't it, eh? A bit posh. <laughs> Noisy bastard. What goes on here? This is apartment city, isn't it? Very soon. It's just pointing something down here, isn't it? There's a proof of What a load of old wanky doodles. You found it? What's it doing over there? Never mind apartment city. Apartment shitty, I say. <laughs> oh. Weather's looking better. You almost ready? <laughs> Before we head off, we think we better do a bit of main, bike maintenance. Yeah. Bit of maintenance, sort of lube the lube the lube those chains. So <laughs> you're doing maintenance. Yeah. Where's your lube? <laughs> next to the bed upstairs. It's every old boy, Where's a bloody ton? Seems like a handy little glare. Oh, it's not much light, shall I? Oh, it's a feather. Let's break this. Maintenance done. Oh, we have a chain loom. Let's hit the road. Let us out, for Christ's sake. I'm sweating. <laughs> We're trapped in here. What would you rather have? Fish, fish eyes for eyes or fish eyes for testicles? Flush them. Let us out. Let us out. Here come the bastards with screens. Oh, look at them with their screens. Oh, the jammy buggers. I don't think they'd make contact, they're just big enough to go over your great big googly fish eyes. It's like putting a plaster off them. 
bad wounds when you get up on the seat. Well, we're there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, it's a long way. I think that's some sort of dig at me, that, the pension, come on. That's what happens when you go away for a week with the Womble. You come back with a very sore bottom. If you had to part with every fish eyes on the side of your head, you're fine, your vision's going to be alright. You don't, you don't have to wear glasses as well. <laughs>